Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I'm going to show you is how to add an overhead health bar like uh, the one you can see on the over the head of this uh, blue character. It will show the health level of this character and when the character is dead that health bar will disappear uh, let me show you demonstration this guy is hard to kill and now he is blocking well i should implement a method to break the blocks that's okay i just want to show this guy die and the health bar disappear but he's not letting me key attack right so he's dead finally and the health bar is gone so that's what i'm going to show you today all right let's get started okay so i have already created this uh, health bar like this not a bar actually just a text which shows the health level of the character over the head so and also i have created that class that widget by implementing this bpi ui interface so therefore i'll create another another widget like uh, this I'll call it WDG helper and by implementing the same interface same blueprint interface I can use this one just like I can replace this one just as the old one I already have okay and here I'll go to the design view and I need well, I'm going to use a progress bar like this I'll place it in the middle so that it is it. it is clear and I'll make it make it uh, wide like 200 units and uh, height 20 like this and let's see where can we change the field amount of this Okay, here we have the percentage. Okay, so I think I don't need this uh, gray background. So I'm not sure if I can remove that. Yeah, we have the background image here. And image marquee image so let's quickly create a box uh, for the background of that health bar so I have created and imported just a frame like this and I have set it as the background of this my help bar so that's what I'm going to use and also I think I will put for the color of the fill I'll change it back to white here and the frame to frame to yellow like this 
also I will add some padding to the fill bar about five uh, it's five it seems five is a bit more so yeah like this okay so this is the way my health bar going to look on enemies I think I will change the color of the fill into a more dark one like this no like this this looks better okay so actually since I have used a white image for this border I can change the border around it, the border color according to the team or the faction of the character okay let's uh, do them later so now this I'll call it health bar and set the default fill in to 100 or 1 okay and what I did in my previous health bar was just change in the text with update details like this so in my BPI UI blueprint interface I will add update number no not number update progress okay so as for the input I will give a float value percentage and I'll implement that method in my health bar widget in here update progress and I'll take a reference to my health bar and set percentage or percent and connect it like this okay now I will go back to my character human not human the player enemy and this is the widget component and for the I will select as for the widget class WDG health bar the one I just created and I'll delete this component because I'm not going to use uh, update details but I'm going to use update progress like this and I'll connect it like this then I don't need this one what is the maximum health of my character actually I haven't created uh, any variable to hold that value so I'll go back to the parent class and I already have this health variable and I'll duplicate it and create another variable health max so yeah this should be also 10 and this health variable contains the current health level and health max variable will contain the maximum health level that our character can have so I will need that variable when I implement auto regenerating health functions as well okay I'll get a reference to health max here and I'll divide this one 
by health max and connect here okay so now let's see the result well for some reason I'm my fill-in was empty why is that let's check mm, CH enemy health health max are uh, maybe yes the problem was health max was zero so I reset it to 10 and let's say check again right now this has yes as you can see the bar is getting reduced but I think this health bar size is it I feel it too big so let's fix it quickly I'm not sure if I can set that here all right we have this one but okay let's try this let's reduce this into 200 by 200 let's see no I don't think that's working yes so I will reduce the size here right here now it's 220 so I'll make it 110 like this yeah that looks much better and also I think I should make it attached to the head well is that the way in the current usually games work I guess so so I'll go here and I'll put this widget component under mesh of the actor and I'll as the parent socket I'll give head where did it went okay I'll reset this into back to zero 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 and here also zero and I'll move it like this well I'll change this into world space and okay This seems better. Let's see. Right now it is attached to the enemy, and and when he's dead, I think I should remove that blank box which used to represent the health bar so I'll mm, I'll go back to my widget health bar and what can I do about that I'll make a branch here and if the percentage is less than or equal to zero if it is true I'll make this disappear set visibility to hidden like this and if this is false that means if I regenerate health or something I should turn that back on so to visible also I don't need to call these methods over and over again whenever I update the health so therefore I'll add a do once node like this for both of them 
and as for the reset for this one I'll plug this for this one I'll plug this so by doing this what happens is this will be called only once and until this set will uh, this one is called again this part will not be executed okay so now let's When he is dead, uh, yeah. As I said, when the uh, character is dead, he lost the visibility of that health bar was dis uh, was changed to hidden. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do today. And in the upcoming episodes, uh, let's continue to improve our game and add more and more features to make it complete all right and be sure to check my patreon page for the updated source codes i will update the source files soon and see you in the next episode goodbye